equivalent fat. I will teach you how to calculate equivalent fat of acids, bases and salts. Now what is equivalent fat? Well, I will teach you the most easy concept of equivalent fat. It is like a currency exchange rate for chemical reaction. For example, 1 US dollar is equal to 80 rupees. It means that for 1 US dollar, you get 80 rupees. Let me repeat it. For 1 US dollar, you get 80 rupees. Similarly, consider this chemical reaction. When hydrogen gas and oxygen gas react together, they form water H2O. And this reaction, equivalent weight of hydrogen gas is 1 gram and equivalent weight of oxygen gas is 8 gram. It means that for 1 gram of hydrogen gas, you need 8 gram of oxygen gas. Let me repeat it. It means that for 1 gram of hydrogen gas, you need 8 gram of oxygen gas. To make it more simple, I mean 1 gram of hydrogen gas will react with 8 gram of oxygen gas to form H2O. Thus remember that Equivalent weight teaches us that how many grams of one reactant will combine with grams of another reactant to form a product. Hence, note it down this important concept. Now we will learn equivalent weight of acids. We know that equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight upon n factor. For example, consider these acids. We will find the n factor of each acid. Then we will calculate equivalent weight of each acid. Now in case of HCl, it dissociates to hydrogen ion plus chlorine ion. Here, HCl gives only one hydrogen ion, so its n factor is 1. Note about its equivalent weight. We already know that equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight upon n factor. Here, the molecular weight or molecular mass of HCl is 35.5 gram upon the n factor of HCl is 1. After calculation, I get 35.5 gram. So, the equivalent weight of HCl is 35.5 gram. Now, in case of nitric acid, it dissociate to hydrogen ion plus nitrate ion. Here, there is only one hydrogen ion, so the n factor of HNO3 is 1. Secondly, its equivalent weight is equal to the molecular weight or molecular mass of HNO3 is 63 gram upon the n factor of HNO3 is 1. After calculation, I get 63 gram. So, the equivalent weight of nitric acid is 63 gram. In case of sulfuric acid, it dissociates to two hydrogen ions plus one sulfate ion. Here, there are two hydrogen ions, so the n factor of H2SO4 is 2. Secondly, its equivalent weight is equal to its molecular weight upon n factor. The molecular weight of H2SO4 is 98 gram and its n factor is 2. After calculation, I get 49 grams. So the equivalent weight of sulfuric acid is 49 grams. In case of boric acid, it dissociates to hydrogen ion plus H2BO3. Here, there is only one hydrogen ion, so its n factor is 1. Its equivalent weight is equal to the molecular weight of boric acid is 62 gram upon 1. After calculation, I get 62 gram. So the equivalent weight of boric acid is 62 grams. In case of acetic acid, it dissociates to hydrogen ion plus acetate ion. Here, there is only one hydrogen ion. So, its n factor is 1. Secondly, 
its equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight or molecular mass of acetic acid which is 60 gram upon its n factor which is 1 after calculation i get 60 grams so the equivalent weight of acetic acid is 60 gram in case of sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide we can see that they do not contain any hydrogen ion so we add water to it i get h2so3 here there are two hydrogen ions so n factor of sulfur dioxide is 2 secondly its equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight the molecular weight of sulfur dioxide is 64 g upon n factor which is 2 after calculation i get 32 g so the equivalent weight of sulfur dioxide is 32 g in case of sulfur trioxide i again add water to it i get h2so4 here there are two hydrogen ions so the n factor of sulfur trioxide is 2 secondly its equivalent weight is equal to the molecular weight of sulfur trioxide is 80 g upon n factor which is 2 after calculation i get 40 g so the equivalent weight of sulfur trioxide is 40 g now consider phosphorus compounds to find the n factor of phosphorus compounds i use the formula n factor of these compounds is equal to number of oxygen atoms minus 1 we can see that there are four oxygen atoms i write n factor is equal to 4 minus 1 i get n factor is equal to 3 so the n factor of this acid is 3 what about its equivalent weight well equivalent weight is equal to the molecular mass of this compound is 98 g upon the n factor which is 3 after calculation i get 32.67 g so the equivalent weight of this compound is 32.67 g in case of this compound i again use the trick n factor of this compound is equal to oxygen atoms minus 1 we can see that there are three oxygen atoms present in it i write 3 minus 1 i get 2 so the n factor of this compound is 2 what about its equivalent weight its equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight and the molecular weight of this compound is 82 g upon its n factor which is 2 after calculation i get 41 g so the equivalent weight of this compound is 41 g in case of this compound i write n factor is equal to oxygen atoms minus 1 in this compound the oxygen atoms are 2 i write 2 minus 1 i get 1 so the n factor of this compound is 1 Now what about its equivalent weight its equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight which is 66 g upon n factor which is 1 i get 66 g so the n factor of this compound is 66 g thus using this method we can easily calculate the equivalent weight of any acid thus note it down these important examples Now we will learn equivalent weight of bases. We know that equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight upon n factor. Now in case of bases, we just look at the number of hydroxide ions. In case of sodium hydroxide, we can see that there is one hydroxide ion, so its n factor is one. What about its equivalent weight? We already know that. it is equal to molecular weight upon n factor the molecular weight of sodium hydroxide is 40 g upon its n factor which is 1 i get 40 g so the equivalent weight of sodium hydroxide is 40 g in case of aluminum hydroxide we can see that there are three hydroxide ions 
So n factor of aluminum hydroxide is equal to 3. Secondly, its equivalent weight is equal to the molecular weight of aluminum hydroxide is 78 gram and its n factor is 3. I get 26 gram. So the equivalent weight of aluminum hydroxide is 26 gram. In case of barium hydroxide, we can see that there are two hydroxide ions. Its n factor is 2. Secondly, its equivalent weight is equal to the molecular weight which is 171 gram upon 2. After calculation, I get 85.5 gram. So the equivalent weight of barium hydroxide is 85.5 gram. In case of magnesium hydroxide, there are two hydroxide ions. Its n factor is 2. Secondly, its equivalent weight is equal to 58 gram upon 2. I get 29 gram. So the equivalent weight of magnesium hydroxide is 28 gram. In case of potassium hydroxide, there is one hydroxide ion. So its n factor is 1. Its equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight which is 56 gram upon 1. I get 56 gram. So the equivalent weight of potassium hydroxide is equal to 56 gram. Now what about the equivalent weight of ammonia NH3? Can you calculate it? Well, we can see that there is no hydroxide ion present in ammonia. So I add water to it. I get ammonium hydroxide. We can see that there is only one hydroxide ion present in ammonium hydroxide. So the n factor of NH3 is 1. Let me repeat it. The n factor of NH3 is 1. What about its equivalent weight? Well, we know that its equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight. The molecular weight of ammonia is 17 gram upon its n factor which is 1. I get 17 gram. So the equivalent weight of ammonia is 17 gram. Thus using this method, we can easily calculate the equivalent weight of any base. Finally, let me teach you equivalent weight of salts. We already know that equivalent weight is equal to molecular mass upon n factor. Remember that n factor of salt is equal to total charge on cations. Let me repeat it. n factor of any salt is equal to total charge on cation. For example, Consider these salts. Now in case of sodium chloride, I break it into two parts, positive part and negative part. We can see that the cation part is sodium and it carries positive one charge. So the n factor of sodium chloride is 1. What about its equivalent weight? The molecular weight of sodium chloride is 58.5 gram and its n factor is 1. I get 58.5 gram. So the equivalent weight of sodium chloride is 58.5 gram. In case of calcium carbonate, I divide it into two parts. The cation part is calcium. We know that calcium carries positive 2 charge. So its n factor is 2. Now what about its equivalent weight? Well, it is equal to the molecular weight of calcium carbonate is 100 gram and the n factor of calcium carbonate is 2. I get 50 gram. So the equivalent weight of calcium carbonate is 50 gram. In case of potassium sulfate, I break it into two parts. We can see that there are two potassium ions. So I write two potassium ions. We know that each potassium ion carries positive one charge. There are two potassium ions. So two potassium ion carries two positive charges. So the n factor of potassium sulfate is 2. Its equivalent weight is equal to the molecular weight is 174 gram and n factor is 2. I get 87 gram.
In case of aluminium sulfate, I break it into two parts. The positive part is aluminium and we can see that there are two aluminium ions. The charge on each aluminium ion is 3. Two aluminium ions will carry positive 6 charge. So the end factor of aluminium sulfate is 6. Its equivalent weight is equal to the molecular weight is 342 gram upon 6. I get 57 gram. In case of calcium sulfate, I break it into two parts. The positive part is copper and it carries positive 2 charge. The end factor is 2. Equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight is 160 gram upon 2. I get 80 gram. In case of magnesium carbonate, I break it into two parts. The positive part or ketonic part is magnesium and it carries positive 2 charge. The end factor is 2. Equivalent weight is equal to 84 gram upon 2. I get 42 gram. In case of aluminium oxide, I break it into two parts. We can see that there are two aluminium ions. Each aluminium ion carries positive 3 charge. So two aluminium ions carry positive 6 charge. The end factor is 6. Equivalent weight is equal to the molecular weight is 102 gram upon the end factor is 6. I get 17 gram. So the equivalent weight of aluminium oxide is 17 gram. Therefore, using this method, we can easily calculate the equivalent weight of acids, bases and salts.